I'd feed this through the backhaul mount because it can be tight to the pole, right? Yep. Well, it just depends where the other cables are going to go. Well, we'll put the cable on the outside, but the ground doesn't matter. Well, the ground's going to run with the cables. Well, no, you put the cable on the outside just in case you have to replace it or something. So we got to run this for power and this for data. You want to run it from here back? No, I'll take it over there and we'll run it out this way. Yeah, but like we're running it in. Yeah. Okay. In with the rest of the stuff. I uh, just hold up. Not sure what that's doing. Why is both ends here? Okay. Whoa, keep, whoa, keep, whoa. Keep. I'm holding it. Keep unwrapping. Which way is this spool? Do you know? Oh, you got the fiber. <laughs> This is the hardest part of the whole job. There we go. Um, hold that. I don't know which side is on top. It looks like that is. No, it's definitely not. For real? Yeah, for real. Why would they do that? I don't know. Well, if you're going up a tower, you'd want to spool it out from this way up, so yeah. No, because this sense. is going at the top. Yeah, you can just take the spool up with you. I doubt that's what they do. Okay, hold that. Oh my God. Careful. Here, just tie that up. To what? Oh. No, take it on here. It was in here. Like this. Oh, was it? Love this out. How long is that? 70 meters. <sighs> so like 200. 250 feet. 200 feet. That's really long. Yep. Just keep that end out of the water and snow. Well, this is not smart spinning this on my hand. My fingers are all cut up. We're gonna need a better th uh, method of doing this. I mean, what would make sense is you use a 10 foot patch cable and then into a, a splice box and run it inside. So we got the fiber cable here. This is providing data connectivity to the radio up top and uh, it has an SFP so it's a optical to electrical adapter that clips into the bottom and then DC power that's what powers the radio so run these two to the radio and that's uh, those are the two connections that it needs yeah and then this it terminates in the switch that's just inside the elevator room here and then there's leads that run from there down to our data center on five and that provides it with the internet connectivity that gives our customers internet Hopefully this cable is waterproof because it's underwater. Oh boy. Whoa. I think these radios are very airtight. When I pop this off, like there's pressure. Huh. Super weird. Um, this is a, a grounding box for handing off the DC power. So the main power source comes in one side. It's a DC surge protector with fuses. So if there's any spikes in power or anything like that, it'll protect the radio and pop this before it gets to the radio. So we got the antenna mounted, the cabling's connected to it, the ground cable, uh, the fiber cable and the, the DC for power. And now we're just working on routing the cables from the antenna uh, along the roof top where the, the cable runs are and uh, bringing them inside ultimately to connect in with the rack to to connect in with the network and uh, the power source so we have the new tirana bn uh, facing west that we installed today it's good to go cables are run uh, the power and, and data are connecting with the network and we're good to hook up some customers